Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. I'm over 50 years old and I love makeup and skincare products. And today we're gonna to be doing a get unready with me, meaning I'm gonna be taking everything off. My makeup, that is. I'm gonna be breaking down my entire nighttime skincare routine. We're gonna dive into some ingredients. We're gonna see what types of products I use. Are they affordable? Are they drugstore? I can't wait to dive into this with you. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. <music> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay, nighttime skincare routine. Now, I know skincare is so subjective. We all have different needs, different skincare concerns, but I thought I would share some of the products that actually helped my skin over the last few years. I mean, I did neglect my skin for the longest time and boy, am I paying for it now. But it's never too late to start up a routine, even if it's incorporating one or two products. We're gonna talk about toners, cleansers. We're also gonna talk about retinol as well as hydroquinone. Now, I'm not a skincare expert. I'm just like you. I've experimented with different products and these are the products that have worked for me. But the products that I've been testing out recently have really helped my skin and I hope they would help you too. Skincare is not just what you put on top of your face. I find that the older I get, it's kind of that adage, what you put in, what you put in, you're gonna get out. Is that an adage? I'm not sure. But I've noticed as I age more, the more I take better care of myself, it does reflect in my complexion. For example, I drink lots of water. Everybody knows you need to hydrate. But the first thing I do every morning when I wake up is to down a glass of water eight to 10 ounces. It basically gets my internal organs going as well as wakes me up. And then of course I have my coffee. Gotta have my coffee. We all know vitamin C is good for your skin topically, but what about taking it internally? And I'm not just talking about vitamin. I heard about this vitamin C supplement that you can take from Tamara's Timeless Beauty. She has an amazing beauty channel for the mature woman, and I absolutely love her content. But she was talking about the lipospheric vitamin C, and it comes like this. It's actually something that you can pour into a drink and you can ingest the vitamin C. Now you're probably thinking, well, what is that good for? Uh, you can just take vitamins, right? It's a powerful vitamin C supplement for optimal wellness. We are going into cold and flu season. It starts in October and it doesn't end until March. So it's always a good idea to boost your immunity. And that's exactly what this vitamin does but it is also supposed to help with your wrinkles within four weeks. So I was like, hello, I'm gonna jump on this bandwagon. So you're probably asking, how do you take it? Well, I'm gonna show you. It comes with a shot glass, but I'm gonna use my shot glass and it's actually in liquid form. It is tasteless, it's gluten-free, it's vegan, non-GMO, sugar-free, hexane-free, dairy-free, no fillers or colorants, and no artificial flavor. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this in some Yee. But all you do is you pour all of the shot in there, like so. And you wanna get all of that goodness out. It's kind of gelatinous, if you can see. And seriously, you cannot taste it, and it slides right down. For me, I like using something carbonated. Salut to your health. Mm, delicious. That's how I start out with my skincare routine from the inside. But let's get into taking it all off. Okay. Now a great way to remove your makeup and to get rid of the eyeliner, mascara, everything from foundation down to your primer is what I love using is the Instant Cleansing Balm from Good Molecules. Now this is formulated with sea buckthorn oil, camellia oil, and shea butter. And this cleansing balm melts on contact with skin to dissolve makeup, dirt, environmental pollutants, and other impurities. Instant Cleansing Balm rinses away with just water, leaving skin comfortably clean, not tight, or stripped. As you can see, you take your spatula and you just scoop a little bit out and it smells so fresh and clean. And all you do is you take some between your fingers and you use the heat of your fingertips to let it melt down. Look how fast that melted down. And this, I promise you, gets through all the layers of makeup without leaving your face feeling greasy at all. And of course it is slightly scented. However, you gotta realize you're gonna be washing this off. I 
I absolutely love the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I have probably went through three or four bottles by now. It's so affordable, so accessible. You can find it in any grocery store, Ulta, Walmart. It leaves my skin feeling soft without being overly stripped or dry. Now that I have all my makeup off, we are going into toner. I have been experimenting recently with some Korean skincare products and absolutely loving them, especially the brand from OK. Now this is the SOS pH Balancing Gel Toner. And I got this at Ulta and it retails for $10. What I love about this toner is that it balances out your skin's pH and it also tones. The gel formula can also be applied directly onto skin without using cotton pads. Now. I find all I need to use is like two to three drops. That's all you need. And basically what you do is once you rub it together, it turns immediately into this super liquidy, almost like watery substance. It may say gel. It really breaks down into a watery like substance and it's super easy to tap in and it absorbs quickly into my complexion. But I've noticed that my pores have tightened up and on the Ulta website, it has gotten five stars out of five stars and it's only $10. This stuff is amazing and I've been using it for the last couple of months and I've only used like this much. Insane. The next step that I like to do is to go in with, again, another Korean skincare product that you can get from Ulta. It is the Chalk Chalk Illuminating Serum from OK. You can see how well loved it is. What I love about this illuminating serum is that it builds layers of hydration. It also plumps and illuminates and enhances your skin. It has active ingredients that optimize cell regeneration and it has a blend of moisture magnets and humectants to help the skin retain moisture. It's non-sticky, lightweight, and it's perfect for layering. But as you can see, it comes out in a medicine dropper. And all I do is I take just a couple of drops and I just put it through here, one through here, and up through here, maybe on my chin. And I just press it in. And again, this absorbs so quickly without leaving my skin feel greasy whatsoever. This contains niacinamide, which is ultimately vitamin B3. And it just fills my skin with such a beautiful natural glow and it lays beautifully under my makeup. I use this actually in the morning as well as in the evening before I go to bed. What about hyperpigmentation? What do you do about that? I know, I suffer from it too. I do have hyperpigmentation through here and some lovely age spots, but I have been recently testing out this product from Dermatology. It is the Advanced Dark Spot Corrector from Dermatology. And I gotta get my specs out for this. This is actually to lighten your skin and it has 2% hydroquinone. Now, 2% probably doesn't sound like a lot to you, but OMG, you need to be super careful with this particular product. I. <laughs> I went into this product the first time and somebody warned me. They said, don't go in too heavy handed. If you have sensitive skin, you definitely have to be very careful when applying this product. Basically what I do is I just take a tiny amount, like barely a pea size amount right here. And what I do is I tap my fingers together like so. And I just go in on the parts of my complexion where I have the most hyperpigmentation. And I basically just tap it in oh so gently, especially through here. I have a nice, pretty hyperpigmentation age spot right through there. And then predominantly through here. And you can actually feel it working. It does sting a tiny bit. I'm not going to lie. But to me, if something stings, I think it's working. I hope. But I did the first time when I tried it, I put way too much and it, boy, did that sting. Like a mother. But yeah, I have lots of age spots coming through here. And I just basically tap it in. I let it settle into my complexion. I give it about a minute or so. After the advanced dark spot corrector has absorbed into my complexion, guess what? I'm going in with retinol. What? Can you mix those two? Absolutely. 
you can mix hydroquinone and retinol, but I don't do it on an every night basis. I use it maybe every other night. I've been using the Inky List Retinol Serum absolutely love the inky list this retinol serum retails for 9.99 and you get one fluid ounce and a little bit goes a long way i have been using this for probably the last three months and i absolutely love it now the ingredients it's a red star stabilized retinol one percent and a granactive retinoid 0.5 percent it reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles it's a slow release formula for low irritating effective active delivery now it does contain squalane so it hydrates and soothes and hyaluronic acid and of course hyaluronic acid we know draws the moisture out of the air and into your complexion and all you do is you put a tiny bit as you can see a little bit goes a long way put it on my fingers and just tap it in and i put it all over I try to be careful when applying my skincare products because I don't want to overstretch my skin. So that's why I like to press it into my complexion. Retinol on. I feel younger already. Not really. What about our neck? I wish I started taking care of my neck a long time ago. I feel like my neck sometimes can really show your age. So I have been using Age Reversal Neck Cream. This is supposed to firm your neck and soften it. So again, I use this every morning and every night before I go to bed. And it's a nice thick formula. And basically I just put it on my neck and decolletage. And I, I try to go up, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know why. And also you wanna get under your chin Cause I've noticed I've been getting some weird ass wrinkles under here. I'm like, what in the world is that? But since using this, I can feel a difference in my neck and yeah, cause you don't want to neglect your neck. Not only moisturizes the soft and very thin tissue around my neck, but it also seems to plump it up, but absolutely love Dermatology's advanced reversal neck cream. For my final step, I know, it seems like a lot of steps, but actually it's not. <laughs> Once you get your routine down, you can get it down pat and get to bed because that's exactly what I wanna do is get to bed. The very last product I like to use, and I'm ashamed to admit it, I've never used a night cream. I'm like, well, what's the difference? Moisturizer, night cream. Well, ever since I started using the peptide night cream from Dermatology, I can see a huge difference in my skin. Now, this is a night cream and it does contain peptides. What is a peptide? Peptides are amino acids that are the building blocks of certain proteins needed by the skin, like collagen and elastin. I've seen a marked difference in my complexion. It's nice and whipped and thick, but it doesn't leave my face feeling greasy overnight. A little bit on my complexion, especially where I get super dry. And so for some reason, I get really dry up here. I don't know why, but I gently press it in And it has, to me, it doesn't have a scent, which is good. But it is such a light formula, but I feel like it moisturizes at the same time. And of course, I'm gonna put some on my neck as well. And just ever so gently around my under eye area because that is the thinnest skin on your face is under your eyes. But what about your lips? But you know what? Today, I'm just gonna go in with the Smith's Rosebud Salve. This, of course, is very drugstore friendly. You can find it anywhere and you just Smells like roses, but it's just a nice creamy lip balm so I can go to sleep and I'm ready for bed. What about you? As you can see, a lot of these products are super affordable, especially the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, as well as the Inky List Retinol Serum. The pH Balancing Gel Toner, super inexpensive, $10. You can pick it up at your local Ulta. But if you're interested in any of the dermatology products, like the Advanced Dark Spot Corrector, I'll put the link down below to their website. And I'll also have a code for you called Cat's Eye 20 to get 20% off. But in my next upcoming video, I will be testing out a new drugstore foundation and I can't wait to share that with you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And for more reviews on skincare, I have an entire playlist of skincare that you can check out. But for now, mwah, mahalo kita. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hydroquinone. 
Hydroquinone. Hydroquinone. Hydroquinone. You do shots, baby. Come on, wolf it. Woo! I'm going to be getting everything off. Magic. <laughs>